Hello, and welcome to Queenie's Card of the Month for August 2014. Well, this is a wisdom month. Trust your wisdom month. The reason I say that is we pulled the card, the Oakmen. Now, granted, there are other trees that grow for longer, that get older than oak trees. But oak trees can get pretty darn old. And oak trees are present in a lot of places. So the, the oak is about wisdom, is about trusting your wisdom. It is about grounded wisdom, okay? And I would say that this month is about being able to discern the difference between your own grounded wisdom and your intuition and your fears from the past trying to limit you or trying to stop you from doing something because it kind of reminds you a little bit of something that happened before. You know, if you go through life, there are so many things that are going to remind you of things. As we get older, there are all kinds of things that are going to trigger us and remind us of things that happened before. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to happen again. It just means that, okay, this feels a little familiar. But sometimes we have to stop and get quiet and figure it out from a place that's more wise than those knee-jerk reactions, which some people like to call it the ego or the ed, the, um, the, the one that, well, it kept us safe when we were having to survive out, out in the elements uh, to be able to go, okay, bears are dangerous. We should probably stay away from them. But now we're in, you know, an urban environment or, you know, cities, country, whatever, and we have a little bit more, we're a little bit more evolved than that at this time. So now that kind of wisdom has had to evolve or we've had that wisdom all along and now we get to exercise that muscle instead of the fear muscle. Um, so this month it feels like there are going to be some decisions that need to be made. Uh, they may be small decisions, or they may be big decisions. Uh, like I said, they may they may actually have uh, little ramifications or very, very huge, far-sweeping ramifications. But the important thing is that you're able to figure out a way to get quiet and trust your inner guidance when it comes to that. Trust your inner wisdom. And in order to trust your inner wisdom, you have to be able to hear it. So I have a couple tips. Have you ever had, have you ever felt a little pressured uh, when making a decision and you felt anxiety, but this anxiety wasn't just mental anxiety. You actually physically felt, felt it in your body. And where did you feel it in your body? When I feel that way, I have a tendency to kind of ask myself questions. Okay, where am I feeling this? I'm feeling it in my stomach. Am I feeling it in my heart? Am I just feeling it in my head? Where, where am I feeling this anxiety? And, and then I'm going to ask the anxiety a question. Where is this coming from? Where does this anxiety come from? You know, you know who said that it was okay for me to feel anxious? Hmm? No. Um, but a, a lot of times that anxiety comes from, uh, sometimes that anxiety comes from being triggered from something in the past. But sometimes that anxiety comes from your gut is trying to tell you something. Your gut is trying to say, uh, tell you what what is right for you and what doesn't because sometimes we get out of balance and we don't understand we forget what feels right we forget how important it is to do what feels right and i'm not talking about indulging and hiding out and you know avoiding life when although sometimes that feels right and it's not a bad thing to do because every once in a while we have to retreat and that's the most wise thing to do. But other times, um, other times like now, what it feels like is that, that, you know, those of us who really are not content with just seeing what's ahead of us and want, want to see a little bit more expanded, want to feel a little bit better about things, want to, um, want to know more, experience more, know that there is more, that knowing that there is more out there for them or more out there for everybody, is that is your wisdom. That is your inner wisdom. That's your grounded wisdom. And there is a difference between that and operating out of uh, fear from the past. You know, I don't want to get hurt again. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to get hurt again. And eventually you just get stuck because you don't want to get hurt again 
but you're not even trying. You're not even, you're not even opening yourself up to life and the possibilities because you're so afraid of getting hurt again. That's not going to feel very good now, is it? No. So the best way to, one of the best ways, or one of the ways that I connect with my inner wisdom is, like I said, I ask questions of my body. If I'm feeling anxious, if I'm feeling, if I'm feeling pressure, especially if I'm feeling pressure to make some sort of decision when maybe it's just not time for me to make that decision. And that pressure, that pressure is telling me, oh, you know, maybe you should think about this a little bit. Or maybe you should sleep on this. Because, you know, I know, I understand that we're all superheroes, but not everybody that's watching this has their finger on the red button that's going to destroy the earth. And not everybody has those kinds of earth shattering life or death situations going on all the time. Once in a while we do. But a lot of the time we don't. It's just everyday life and it's just making decisions about big things to buy, whether to move or not, whether to change a job or not, whether to let somebody love you or let yourself love somebody or not. You know, these feel like life and death situations uh, when ultimately they, they may or may not be. Most of the time they're not. But to be able to operate from a place of grounded wisdom to make those decisions, to decide whether this person, this house, this new job, this, whether this decision is right for you is really, really important. And I think that this month is going to be a lot of that. Um, I feel that we are, and I know in my own life, I, I feel I am no longer being given the luxury of phoning it in and half-assing my decisions, my life decisions anymore. I used to be able to do that, or I used to be able to put them off and not make those decisions and shove them under the rug. But I feel that, that we are not being given that same luxury anymore. It, uh, there is a, a kind of a pressure building about um, wanting what's true, <laughs> you know, what's true for me, what's true in the world so that I can make a decision about how I want to respond to this or that or the other thing. And, and the oak men and that grounded wisdom can assist you in that. So now I'd like to do a quick meditation and hopefully we'll get through this without my video camera cutting me off like it did the last time. I want you to imagine Close your eyes, take a deep breath, or don't close your eyes. Put your feet on the ground and imagine that you have the roots of a tree coming out of the bottom of your feet and going to the center of the earth and are going down, down, down into the center of the earth and attaching to this beautiful golden ball that's like amber in the center of the earth. And imagine that golden energy coming up, up, up through the roots, up through your legs, through your hips, through your torso, up out the top of your head and coming out the top of your head. And then imagine coming in to the top of your head, this opalescent blue energy from spirit, from the sky, and you're connected to everything and it goes in the top of your head. And this fills up your whole body. So you're filled up with that amber energy and that opalescent blue energy, your whole body. I want you to wiggle your toes and wiggle your fingers to make sure you're still in there and just take a couple deep breaths and imagine that you're connected to the earth and you're connected to the sky and that I, I feel like your wisdom is somewhere in here where your solar plexus is. So just tap into that. Tap into that. And feel grounded. And then listen. This has been the card of the month with the Oak Man. If you're interested in having a reading with me or learning more grounding techniques or going through a long form hypnosis session or anything like that, you can contact me through YouTube or you can find my website at erinshannon.squarespace.com. And until next month, I love you. Have a really good one. Talk to you soon. Bye.